Hi guys, it's Simulsi here, so welcome to another apartment renovation. So today I am back renovating this apartment, which is one of the Zenview apartments, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. Um, either way, you can see the address on the top left hand side of the screen. So if you wanna place it in your game, that's where it goes. So for this apartment, I knew I wanted to do something that was in a loft style. That's why I decided to build here in this apartment because I think it's the best apartment to create a loft in. I mean, maybe some of the uptown apartments would be pretty good. Maybe that's what I should do with the three story one. <laughs> I promise someday I will decorate the three-story apartment. It'll happen eventually. I should probably just sit down and make myself do it. But either way, I want to do a loft apartment and I thought this one would be perfect for that. And I had the idea to do something that was very trendy. <laughs> I don't know if this apartment is very trendy, um, but I tried to make it feel that way. And I also wanted it to feel a bit industrial, but not how I would typically do an industrial style. I wanted it to feel a bit different. So instead of using like a red brick or a brown brick, I wanted to go for this like more plaster look. And I thought it was just like really pretty and definitely different than what I've done before. So I was happy about that. And yeah, I basically just tried to pick items that I thought suited the Sims that I had in mind. And I tried to find inspiration on Pinterest. I always enjoy like looking at Pinterest for basically any inspiration. It's like my favorite website <laughs> for like everyday life too, not just The Sims. I absolutely love it. Um, I couldn't find it like one single picture or a collection of pictures that necessarily fit the look I was going for, but I did find some that I thought were pretty inspirational, but mostly the interior style is just me going through items in the game, trying to find ones that I think suit the look and feel that I was going for. And yeah, I'm, I'm just really happy with the way it turned out. So hopefully you guys are going to like it too, but definitely let me know what you guys think. So for the Sims that I imagined living here, I was thinking it was just a couple because there's just a single bed. Well, not a single bed, it's a double bed, but you know, it's a one bedroom apartment. <laughs> and um, you could probably make this a two bedroom if you really wanted to, but I think it would take away from that like lofty feel at least the kind of loft I wanted to go for. So um, yeah, I just wanted it to be for a couple. You could definitely have a single sim in here really easily. Um, but I was thinking they're just a really cool couple. They go to like all the best parties, the coolest bars, like the most exclusive nightclubs. They have really cool jobs and they live in a very cool, trendy apartment. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was basically my idea for them. And as I was building it, I was trying to think of their careers. I really wanted one of them to be like an architect. I thought that would be really cool. Um, but unfortunately, that's not a career that we have in game. So I was thinking instead they're an artist and maybe they could be a digital artist and we could pretend that they're an architect. And so that's why I put up some um, pictures in the living room of those, they're the base game paintings of like those, um, like those buildings. They're kind of like, they're, they kind of look like architectural drawings. <laughs> I'm not sure if they are, but um, you'll see them here in just a little while. And for the other sim, I was thinking that they are a stylist and a hairdresser. So that little room that I created next to the bedroom ends up being kind of like their office space, but it's still very open and lofty to the rest of the apartment. And I thought that was pretty cool. So they kind of work from home. They have clients who come in and, you know, can get their hair done here in the apartment or yeah, it's just basically a place for them to work. So I think that turned out to be pretty cool. But here you can see I'm decorating the living room. I quickly decorated the kitchen and dining room and I love the kitchen. I really like the contrast of that like orangey wood tone on the countertops with the black appliances. It basically spurred on the whole color scheme for the entire apartment. So I was trying to replicate that here in the living room. And I thought these couches that came from Seasons actually worked pretty well for that color scheme. And, um, yeah, I think basically the style for this apartment is a mixture of those bohemian apartments that I typically do, but mixed with an industrial style. <laughs> I think it is anyways. I was trying to make it not look so bohemian, so I wasn't trying to um, add as many plants as I normally would in an apartment like that, but I still wanted it to kind of have that feel because I feel like that's very trendy at least in my opinion, it's very trendy. <laughs> I'm not sure if it actually is. And also the items that came with uh, uh, the Eco Lifestyle Pack were perfect for this apartment. Like the shelving units were 
like like the exact style I needed for this apartment. I absolutely love that pack, by the way. It's one of the best expansion packs, in my opinion, at least decor style. I can't say necessarily for gameplay because I don't typically play the game, but I do build a lot and I like the decor items and yeah, just the overall like art style of the pack I think is really nice and I've enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> um, and speaking of new packs in the game, so the um, Sims 4 Star Wars Journey to Batuu, I think is what it's called, um, came out recently and a lot of you guys were asking if I was going to get that pack. I didn't get the early access to it, so that's why you haven't seen any videos. And I did watch the early access videos trying to develop my opinion on it, trying to see if it's something I really wanted to have in my game because I'm honestly, like as soon as I saw it, I was not excited for it and I'm still not excited for it. And so I don't think I'm going to get it because I don't really see the point because I don't see anything that makes it worth it in my opinion. Um, like build and buy wise and you can't really build in the world. So for me, I just don't really see it being like a necessary part of my game. I, up until this point, I wanted the entire collection just to have it, even if I wasn't that excited about a pack and I've definitely done that before. And then I end up really enjoying the pack later and there ends up being a lot of items that I enjoy using. And that might be the case with this one, but I just, I don't want all the extra Star Wars stuff in my game. I just feel like it's gonna clutter it up and I'm gonna end up yeah, just not really being happy with that decision. So that's my stance on it for now. Um, I might change my mind in the future. And if I do, then I'll just buy the pack myself. <laughs> but for now, um, just, yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get it <laughs> but either way um here you can see I'm working on the bedroom area I really like the bedroom this bed from seasons is like absolutely perfect it's almost perfect in every style of home <laughs> maybe besides like a really traditional home even then I think you can make it work it's like the best bed that we have in game I yeah, just absolutely adore it and then you will have noticed that I decorated two bathrooms one downstairs is just like a half bath with a toilet and sink the upstairs bathroom is a full bathroom with a bathtub and a shower so your sim should have all of their bathroom needs <laughs> I feel so weird whenever I start talking about the bathrooms because it's such like a non-interesting thing to talk about um oh something that is interesting though is the very top of the staircase I created a little like art nook and I thought it was really cool with the garage door it felt very industrial to me and then that statue that we got from romantic garden stuff in the black I thought was pretty cool and um, I also put some sketches up on the wall the male sketches and I thought that maybe they were using that statue as like a reference or something so I thought that turned out pretty good and then here you can see I'm decorating the little I don't know what you would call this room, the stylist room. <laughs> and I put um, this really cool mirror that we got from City Living in here. I don't use this mirror too often, but I thought it was perfect in here. And then the barber stool, I'm not sure if that's the correct name for it, but we got that from, I believe Get Famous, if I remember correctly, but I put that in there. I was also thinking about using the little podium that your Sims can stand on to look at themselves in the mirror and try on different outfits and stuff. but. It was a bit bulky and big, but you could definitely fit that in there if you prefer it to the barber stool, or you could probably make both of them fit, honestly, but it just, it kind of felt a bit crowded. Um, but here you can see I'm moving on to the balcony. So the balcony, I wanted to have like a fire pit, like a lounge area with a barbecue and the little place to sit and eat, nothing too crazy. I probably should have put a hot tub out here. That would have been pretty nice, but I feel like I've done that quite a bit when decorating balconies. So I wanted it to be a bit different. I mean, it's still not that different. It's kind of similar to other times that I've decorated this balcony, um, but I still like it. I really like how I used those wooden slats as like art pieces on the wall. Right now I have them at the wrong height, so I do switch them out here pretty soon. And yeah, other than that, I just add some like plants around. There's a lounge chair out here. And oh yeah, I added this one so the Sims could actually do some gardening. <laughs> so I thought this one was kind of like a functional version of the other one. But yeah, this is basically it for the apartment. I'm just gonna add some string lights around and then we're going to be going on to the screenshot. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I hope you guys do enjoy the screenshots. So thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.
Now give me some more 